2007 uh, Chevy Tahoe um, with the code uh, P0521 uh, which is uh, has to do with the oil pressure and uh, usually the code it tells you the oil pressure sensor uh, somewhere in that area just for the record uh, a year ago or almost 30 or 35,000 miles ago I have replaced the oil pressure sensor on this truck and the reason I changed it because the oil pressure uh, reading over there right here it was showing very much zero like you see it when the car is off so I did change the sensor at that time and did increase close to 40 after that for almost that's 35,000 miles ago or one year ago or more or probably 14 months to be exact so now um, the code came back on again but uh, I do have here I started the car the engine is warm as you see at operating temperature and I have check engine light for code P0521 and as you can see the um, the oil pressure uh, gauge showing uh, under 20 the those truck minimum you have to have a 25 psi and they say they could go up to 65 but i would like to have it as a close to 40 as possible at uh, idle and uh, at operating temperature so right now it's under 20 that's very low um there's a few things i'm gonna do on this truck I'm uh, suspecting the I'm suspecting the uh, oil pump of course but I'm gonna do one thing before I do the oil pump I'm gonna remove the oil ban on this car and change the strainer or or the oil filter uh, strainer uh, o-ring and I'm gonna change uh, a brush relief valve inside the inside the in the oil pan and also i'm gonna install a reflector on the oil pan this is uh it was modified later on they call for uh to install that reflector i'll show it to you i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm talking about um this is very much in technical service bulletin it asks you to add this reflector um, so I'm gonna change these. I already bought all the stuff. I bought the oil pump. I, all, I bought everything I need But I'm not gonna change the oil pump for now. I'm just gonna change those three pieces And I'm gonna see what can happen. Hopefully that will do it. Usually the o-ring go bad on those things and If it didn't go, I'm gonna do a follow-up video on replacing the oil pump and usually in the oil pump the oil relief valve in the pump that was goes bad the spring becomes very loose and then it does not um, provide enough uh, oil pressure to the rest of the engine okay so I'll um, gonna show you later on all the parts I bought and uh, I'm gonna go with you step by step as much as I can to show you uh, replacing the oil taking off the oil pan of this car and changing the three pieces the o-ring and the um, the oil pressure uh, valve inside the oil pan and the reflector installation okay so here is all the parts i bought the oil pan gasket it's a gm gasket i usually don't put silicone on this i just put oil very thin film of oil on the rubber and put it back on this is the um, the o-ring the one comes on the tube the one goes into the oil pump goes from the oil strainer to the pump that's the o-ring that most likely the problem with this truck is this pump is uh, this o-ring okay, so I bought a bunch of them also GM Genuine parts. Okay, um, this is the oil 
pressure relief valve the one inside the oil pan I'm changing this as well and I bought also this reflector not too many people know about it this is uh, very much keeps the one second it's so right here this is goes under the oil pressure valve so this is very much keeps the oil in one place it doesn't shoot very much if this is not on it will shoot uh, oil toward the oil pan on this area right here and it causes oil leak as far as I understand and um, I have the also the front kit when replacing the oil pump at this time I'm not replacing the pump I'm just gonna do this I'm gonna change the deflector the um, oil pressure relief the one inside the, in the oil pan and the oil one of those o-rings just I need one of those and the oil pan gasket I also got the um, the oil pump also GM as you can see so this is the pump again I'm not gonna replace it for now most of the problem with this is the um, also the oil pressure relief valve the one inside here I'm not sure if this is a problem at this moment the truck has over 150,000 miles the oil been changed on this truck on, on time never missed so I'm just gonna do this wait on this one for now okay this is made in USA and um, just one note here this this is where this o-ring goes right here this is the area okay. so I believe this o-ring is bad and it sucks air with it uh, while trying to suck some uh, oil and uh, drops the the, um, the oil pressure drops also I'm suspecting this is also the problem I would like to change everything including the oil pump but it's really it's, this is a, a nightmare job it's a lot of work on this truck to do this and those so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna like I said change these not this not the uh, not the front kit gonna wait on this a little bit I'm gonna take my chance I hope this is gonna solve the issue and I keep the oil pump for a few for the future if I have issue I'll change it but for now I'll just keep it in the box and uh, once I finish with uh, with installing all this we'll see what's gonna happen Okay, so away from this, uh, let's go to the truck and uh, look at a couple of things here. I believe that's what's going to happen here. Let me just give it some light. Okay. So, you can see the oil here. This piece has to be removed. Those two bolts here and two bolts here. This is some part of the cross member has to come off. Also, um, I have to lower the, the front differential. Those four bolts, gonna lower it down. So I have some uh, some space to bring the oil band down. I'm gonna take this uh, this front shield just to have a view here. And as you can see, this is really um, a job. It's a big job. Not easy. Reaching those screws on the top is not gonna be an easy job, but anyway, it is what it is right now. Okay, so this has to come down. Um, I believe also you could, uh, if you wanna remove the uh, more amount bolts, you could raise the engine up, but I think this is not gonna be easy too. But that's uh, something maybe could be done. To raise the engine up, but I think uh, lowering the um, the front differential is probably a better choice. Okay.
when they get to work I'm just gonna drop the take the oil out of the take the oil out of the um, of the oil pan and um, go from there okay so I removed the one two three four and um, all these bolts has to come out and then I pry I pry on it from one side yeah. so this is out just make sure uh, you can see this is different front and back I marked it already it says here front so this is the front of the vehicle that uh, cut this way this angle toward the front just make sure of that okay just a reminder these are 18 millimeter bolts for the one for the cross member 18 18 the nut is 18 and the bolt 18 this one here also 18 and the one also here is 18, right there. This is 13, 16, 13, 16. I already removed the, uh, the block here on the front uh, actuator, the front field of actuator. Um, okay, let's get to that. I already loosened the bolts on the other side. I took one out and I kept one in. I'm just gonna take it off right now. This way it keeps it. Yes. Okay. The differential very much is loose. Okay, let's take the oil out and the filter out for now. This way, I'm gonna get to the bolts of the oil pan. So remove the filters as well <coughs> too.
I'm going to clean all this in my washing machine. Get all these things out of the way. Just, uh, It's time to remove the whole differential down. You gotta remove the bolts on this side and the, the axle on this side of the axle. Okay, and um, make sure you un attach that uh, wire from the differential so it doesn't get stuck. So, also, I'm gonna mark this so I don't, uh, if any re for any reason, I don't wanna go crazy try to al align it. So, I'll do this. Okay, so this, is, this is my mark, the same thing here. Okay. So both uh, marked. There's a mark here and I left a mark on the other side. Okay, so these, uh, I think, These are size uh, 15. And let's try to uh, remove them all without uh, spinning the wheels. Need a new joint. Try half inch. I mean, of course, you could remove this first, but um, when you bring it down, it gives you more leverage on the other bolts on the, on the top. So you could spin the thing, put it in, uh, have to raise the truck. Let's see if I can get all of them. Maybe I can't. I have to turn. So I have to make sure uh, this is supported before I remove everything, it's going to come down. Okay. Just move my camera.
Okay, I'm gonna raise the car so I could spin the wheel so I could have the bolts down. So very much now the bolts are showing and you have more uh I would suggest to remove these bolts before you drop the, the whole differential. Just I'm trying to video tape while I'm trying to think twice on everything, but just uh, where is the bra? Okay, so here you have to remove the uh, the front drive shaft screws, but make sure also you mark it, just in case you don't want to lose, uh, if there is any balance or something already done, you don't want to lose it, let me just mark this. So there are four bolts, uh, 716 of an inch socket, you just remove it. <clears throat> so you remove this first, then you remove the uh, axle, make sure you remove the actuator uh, harness completely out of the way, and then have this supported, both axle has to come off, and then the whole uh, differential has to come down in order to get this job done. So all this for just an oil band, this is insane. This is what it is. Okay. Okay, the differential is done. I left it hanging here on the on this jack, so I don't wanna bring it down to the floor. It's a one man show here. Um so here is more space now I have I can see the, the oil pan more clear. I get to remove all these bolts and I hope there's no other, no anything nothing else in the, in the way there are more bolts in the back here by the transmission just remember that and there are bolts all the way back there Let me turn the camera on all the way in there I already removed some of them already so okay so the transmission line in the way I have to remove this plastic piece to, uh, to protect uh, the star on the flywheel. I have to just move it out of the way a little bit. 
And um, I guess that's it. It should come out. This harness here, when you try to take it off the uh, oil band, there is a bolt on the side here, 10 millimeter on the side. Make sure you take it off because this is going to be holding this whole harness so you could have it loose like this. I just pray to God I don't have to do the oil pump in this um, because if I do the oil pump, I'm not going to remove the oil pan. I'm going to do it in a way where the oil pan is on. Uh, removing the oil pump, you have to remove the whole front of the engine. Everything here in the front has to come off. So I'm not going to do this today. So again, like I said, I'm just going to deal with the issue underneath like supply in the beginning. And I go from there. And um, also this, there is a harness right here. This is the, most likely the oil level sensor. Just to bright this up and then it comes off easy. There is a hole on the top here. Inside you could just bright it with a little pin. A little, bit, a little pick, it comes off. Okay. Okay, here's the oil pan. It's already on the floor. Um, I came across a few challenges here. The rack and binion. This uh, pipe here, this line, it's rusty and I didn't want to remove it. Remove this line so I could get into more problems. So what I decided to do, I just took the rack and binion bolts off. As you can see here. I just needed like probably one inch or two inch between the oil pan and the, this line right here. Okay, so I, I lowered it so I have this much space right now. I was able to get it off. And um, I just wanna want you to know that, um, so this is something I had to do. I didn't expect me to bring this down. Uh, also, just pay attention to the oil pan. There are two hidden bolts right here, they're long bolts. Let me bring him here. Um, they're here. So these bolts have to come off. Okay. As soon as all these bolts come off, the whole thing will come, come down easy. There's two of them, one here and one here at the bottom of the oil pan. One thing I notice here, I, I think also that might cause a problem too. I will torque it. I noticed that this uh, this thread here, the one holds the the, the connect to the filter, it's loose. I was able to move it with my hand, so I'm gonna take a quick look at this, and I might have to um, torque it to make sure it's not loose. I was maybe maybe it was leaking oil too, but um, anyway, so just. This is what's loose. Okay, I have to torque this. And um, I'm gonna wash this whole thing, clean it. This is the, the valve here, the pressure relief valve too. I'm gonna this is the one I'm gonna change. The gasket has to be replaced. This is what's bad. I think what happened also here, the reason I'm gonna put the reflector, you could see when, uh, when this is released, the oil comes out, it shoots on the gasket here too, in this area, so it leaks oil. So that's what I think is a problem here too. Okay, so there is a screw here I have to remove, many ones to remove that um, gasket. So this gasket very much is done. I could see there is no rubber on it, it's dead, it was leaking all over. Gonna wash this really nice, clean it from the inside, get the rid of this mess here. I'm gonna remove the oil screen here, one bolt, uh, two and three, the one connected to the oil pump side there. I don't know if you can see it, but somewhere there. Okay, I just want you to know that I had to bring down the rack and binion able to remove this thing ok 
Okay. I'm already in the process of cleaning the uh, oil pan. I did remove this uh, shield here or this cover. It was here. It was inside here. I removed it and I did clean it. There was a lot of a lot of junk was accumulating in this area right here, where is the oil plug? Was a lot of uh, hard oil, but it's not uh, going anywhere. It's just sticking there and I think causing a problem. So as you can see, I uh, clean everything here. I remove the gasket. I'm gonna replace this valve here, like I said, and. Um, just a lot of stuff. I did my best it's most of the hard dried oil as I removed it all completely so I mean this is very touch with the clean to the touch right now Very much I'm gonna keep doing this until you know it's, it's little just very much it's clean right now. It was very black. I'm just gonna try to get this is very much nothing. I'm just gonna try to clean it. And uh, that's it. This is very very clean. I want you to notice the uh, this o-ring, the one on the was in, on the um, on the oil pump, and this is the new one. See the diameter variance here. So if I try to put the old one in, if I try to put the old one in. And uh, inside the oil pump, it doesn't stay. So here is the new one. When I put it in, of course, when, uh, when it's installed on the strainer pipe and the tube, it's uh, it put more tension around the wall. Okay. So that's the uh, second. Alright, we 
control everything. Okay. All right, so stays in. So this is the uh, old one. Okay, let me uh, show you where it goes. Okay, let me see if I can get the camera to catch it. It's right there. See, it's uh, snug against the wall, so when it's installed on the tube, it will have more tension. And hopefully that was one of the issues. And the other issue is like, um, I explained to you the, um, the valve, the oil relief valve on the oil pan. This one right here. And here is the tube. It's, I'm gonna clean it. As you can see, it's very dirty. <coughs> and the o ring goes here. Okay, so I'm gonna clean the Inside and outside too. Make sure nothing inside. And um, as you can see the difference, this is what uh, it looks like before. It's gonna look all of it like this when I'm finished. Okay, away from uh, the oil pressure problem I have in this truck, uh, let's go to release some life pressure by having a grilled chicken, chicken on my food. See how it's going here. All right, this is my grilled uh, thigh and leg. This is what I'm having for uh, lunch today. So, gotta have some life every once in a while being a technician and a mechanic is not an easy job you have to love what you do but um, this should be ready in a few minutes okay so that's my uh, lunch for today okay so my lunch is ready very much having a grilled chicken today take a break from the car a little bit and this is my uh, lunch for today I made my own meal I enjoy my own cooking and um, this is something I very much enjoy beside uh, doing cars so let me finish my uh, lunch and I get back to finish the car This is the tube o-ring that goes into the oil pump. Make sure you put some uh, some oil on it before you put it in. Okay. And as you can see, I cleaned the oil pan. that valve Mike, can you, can you just watch 
Reduce the deflector. It's gonna go this way. And here is the new valve. So this is goes this first. Then So here is the deflector and the new position of the valve, oil relief valve. Um, on the gasket I'm going to use a rivet to rivet it here. I'm going to put oil on the oil pan here, but I'm going to put uh, only, show you something here. I'm going to put oil also here, except those uh, this area here I'm gonna put silicon. Here you're gonna put silicon and also in the front over here I'm gonna put silicon silicon. Everything else is gonna be just a thick light film of oil. Okay. So I'm gonna rivet the uh, I'm using rivets just to make sure this is doesn't move. As you can see, I'm gonna use rivets. So this thing is gonna go inside here. So it won't move. Okay, I'm gonna rivet this, rivet this, and this way the gasket will be in its place, it won't move. Okay, so I put the rivet here, and this is another rivet. This is just to keep the gasket in its place, so now it doesn't move. Okay. You can see I put, all, I put silicone here. Make sure before you put the silicone, it's uh, very dry right there. Make sure it's a dry under 100% to dry. Silicone, silicone. And the screen back in the place, and I'm ready to put everything back on. Okay, I'm gonna put this plate back on. Yeah, I put all the oil pan bolts on, back on all of them. 
this is the first step just one uh, tip here make sure these back bolts 15 millimeter this you torque them the last last thing you do this you just put them in when you put you just put like two screws here two screws here and just in put this in just to hold don't torque them okay finish all around the oil pan then the last thing you do this and the last thing you also you do um, I mean after you finish all those little ones there are those two long one one here and one here those you do them last after you finish with those thin, little ones last two are the 15 millimeter these okay okay I'm gonna finish the uh, torquing the axles I already <laughs> Put everything back on. This is done. This is done. is done. Let's finish the other side. Alright, so let's confirm that I've done all of them. Alright, I manage the car. All the marks I did. Okay, this is what I didn't do. Let me do this. Camera in my way. I want to try to torque. Just move it a little bit. Torque all the bolts. Um, so I'm gonna finish the drive shaft. I'm gonna put the cross member and just make sure all the wires back where they belong. And that's it. Put the oil and I'm done. That's very much it. Just gonna put the drive shaft back in. Need to put that wire. This one right here. Okay. Okay, I finished all the work. Uh, let's see um, the oil uh, pressure as soon as I start.
Okay, this is looks good. I never get up to 40 when it's uh, idle cold, but we're gonna watch it when it gets hot and see what's gonna happen. Give it some gas. Okay, so I was never able to get it up to like 60 with uh, 2000 RBM. So now it goes to 60 up to 2000 RBM without changing the without changing the oil pump. Crossing my finger, hopefully this is gonna very much do it. And uh, I'm gonna check it uh, back when it's hot, see what's going on. Okay, now uh, this is almost one hour uh, after uh, the engine got really hot and you can see it, it's at operating temperature. And uh, thank God the The oil pressure gauge, it's above, I would say, above 30. So, so far it's good. This is hot. Uh, before it used to get, after, as soon as it gets to the temperature, to the operating temperature, it, this, this thing here gets below, below 15. So as you can see, I have achieved the minimum on this truck it has to be 25 so I mean I'm getting right now 30 I would say 32 maybe and um, I think I'm, I'm satisfied at this moment and I have the oil pump uh, just a backup in, in the future in case it needs it but at this moment uh, this is more than enough this is good it was driving for almost six months with that 15 to 16 uh, PSI so now it's 30 I would say 32, I would say, let's say 30. If it doesn't go below 30, that's good. And this truck has 154,000 miles. And, um, and like you see, I, when I give it gas, 2,000 RBM. And, and the AC is running too, at full capacity. You could see this is, I never, I was never able to get it over 40 like this. You should get maximum 38 at 2000 RBM. Okay, so this is um, well, jo well done job and um, that's it. You saw what I changed and I didn't have to remove the oil pump to do the job. I changed everything has to do underneath with the oil pan and the uh, all the components around there. Thank you for watching.